Oh sh! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hey guys, do you want to hear a story from good old Slick Frame? Yeah! AKA me, James. Yeah! Okay, here we go. And uh, simultaneously, I'm gonna kick the asses of some seaweed. Ass, yes, okay. Wait, seaweed doesn't have ass. Poison. Seaweeds don't have asses, do they? Four sixty. Um. Sorry. <laughs> anyways, so I have another little high school story to tell uh, you guys of me and Elliot. So there was this one time we went to go. It was a graduation, right? We were playing at the. At the I don't know what story you're gonna tell, but so I can clarify yes or no later. So well, we were riding on a bus yes, together, and, and we sat. It wasn't in, our graduation. We were playing for like the seniors. Yeah, like you were in tenth grade, I was in eleventh grade. Yeah, baby. We were gonna go and play um on a baseball field. I won't say which one, but um on the way there, we both brought our DPSs. Bitch Titty Stadium. And we uh we both had. It was Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold, I think. I think so. I'm pretty sure it was that, yeah. Um, it was like, I think it was a bit before uh, Pokemon Black came out. Or maybe around it. I don't remember. But anyways, so we were having a fun little Pokemon battle. We were just, um, it wasn't super serious. We were playing kind of casually. We just, we brought out our best Pokemon. And, well, no, Elliot had a shit ton of really high level Pokemon. And I had kind of normal level, like 30 level 30. Yeah, that's right. And so we just decided to... <laughs> Elliot decided to bring out his uh, Pokemon that had the same level as my highest level. And we had a fun little battle. It was a pretty casual, just fun yeah. battle. And at the very end, <laughs> this is where things get interesting. At the very end of the battle, we both had only one Pokemon left. Yeah, like, it was a pretty even battle. Yeah, it was very even, oddly enough. So, um... Um... We, uh, we both end with Ampharos. Put it on screen. Spin it! Okay, make it go bye-bye. And, uh, so, it's both down to us, and it's so neck and neck. We are so close. It's like, oh god, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? As we get closer and closer to depleting each other's HP, we're, like, sweating. It's and like, we're the same level. They were both level 34, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. The exact, it was so neck and neck, it wasn't yeah. even funny. Like, it was crazy. crazy nuts. They were both, like, paralyzed and shit, or, no, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah, they were, I think. Okay. So what happened was, um. Game or picture, I'm like, I'm gonna fucking pick my shit out. It got to the point where it's, it's, it got to the point of a Pokemon battle where it's like, checkmate. All I have to do is hit quick attack and I win. So I was in that situation. We both had, like, I don't know, 3 HP or something. Something very low. And I said, uh, <laughs> well, here we go, I win, I choose Quick Attack, it goes, Ampharos used Quick Attack, I'm like, yes, Ampharos's Quick Attack missed. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot managed to kill me. It was beautiful. <sighs> it was just... It was crazy, like, uh, yeah, God. it was awesome. At, I was just like, no! That was really cool, actually. Mm -hmm. We got to play, um, like the Star Wars... Not the Star Wars theme song, but, uh, not the Imperial March. I don't fucking remember. It was a song from Star Wars and the, um... Speaking of Star Wars. Oh. Hey, um, one um, uh, we got, uh, there's a lady princess, um, 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 there's a droid, and, um, um, their, um, their relationship is, um, platonic, but the droid is gonna ask her out, and, um... Ooh, are you talking about Star Wars The Force Awakens? Because um, there's a droid in the beginning, and, like, the droid is given secret information. No other Star Wars movie did that, right? And, um, the, the, <laughs> the, um, the, um, the princess going to say no, and he's going to get embarrassed. Can you stop him? Um, I don't really feel like it. Um, okay. I don't know. I, I, I feel like situations like that, you kind of just got to distance yourself, because it's like, if you interfere, it just gets worse and worse for everybody. Okay, a serious question, actually. <laughs> Star Wars or Lord of the Rings? Star Wars. Oh, boy. You're Lord of the Rings, I know that. Yeah. Does this mean we can't be friends anymore? No, we can be friends. This just means that our viewers can choose and, and we can have, like, battles throughout the ages. <laughs> okay. Team Star Wars, Team Lord of the Rings. Let us know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. L-O-T-R, Lord of the Rings. Or S-W-O-R-D.
WSJ Poser. Whoa! I knew it. Because you can never come back in here. Oh. So there's no way that. Oh, you can go there. Nope. <laughs> oh, right, because they fly off, right? Yep, exactly. So. Yeah, anyways. That's. Yeah, good. good co that's pretty logical. Thank you. Nice. Like I said, not I, that you're I'm not a logical person, just that. Nice. Like I said, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm a fan of that character in Star Wars that says, most illogical, Captain. I'm a fan of the Star Wars character that says, Misa Jar Jar Binks! Misa! Yeah, no, you're talking about jo Zoidberg, right? He's my favorite yeah, Star Wars favorite character. Star Wars character. You, you know what my favorite Star Wars movie was? What? The one where um, it stars uh, uh, Captain Kirk and Spock, and they're complete assholes yeah. to each other, and yeah. he, you know, Spock almost kills Captain Kirk, even though he doesn't mean to, by stranding him on, on the ice planet, and he almost gets yeah. killed. That's yeah. my favorite Star Wars movie. Oh, man. You know my favorite um, Lord of the Rings movie? What? When King Arthur goes in and pulls the sword out of the... Um, the tree. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and his name is um Sigur. Sig Sigur. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, that's that's a yeah, good one. That's my movie. favorite. And then he uh, rescues um uh hell hell something and from the ring of fire. Is that the third one? Yeah. I've Actually, it's kind of funny. The, uh, Lord of the Rings is loosely based off the uh the tale of Sigur. What are you talking about? Sigur is Lord of the Rings. You just said it is. You know what my favorite Star Wars movie is? The Power Rangers movie! I, I like the one where... Like, I love that one! Yellow Ranger all the way! My favorite Star Wars movie is the one where it's about the kid with the lightning bolt on his forehead, and he goes... Oh, yeah! He finds out he's a wizard, and then he Voldemort goes... Voldemort is the Emperor? And, and then, like, he goes to uh, meet Gandalf at this school of witchcraft and wizardry. That, yeah. was, that was my favorite Star Wars movie. Yeah, and then they, they recruit SpongeBob and Aragorn. Yeah, dude. To fight Ron Weasley. Oh, and Belle from Beauty and the Beast, the live action yeah, Beauty and the Beast rips, is there. He rips Aragorn's fucking knee, kneecap off. Yeah, fuck Aragorn. Aragorn's a dickhead. I mean, then again, his father was a dickhead, so. Okay, you know what? Real talk. <laughs> okay, no more of this. So, Aragorn, is, that's his story, right? Wasn't his dad kind of a dick, and that's why he turned out to be that way? Are you thinking of Boromir? Oh, Boromir! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know Lord of the Rings! <laughs> My bad. Who's, who's Aragorn? Aragorn is like the main person, the heir of uh, Sildor, I think. The, the dude who actually gets the fucking sick ass sword and they reforge it. Uh, he's, oh, is he, he the guy with the black hair? He marries um, the lead singer of Aerosmith's daughter. What? Yeah, actually, the a, a Liv Tyler. Uh huh. Jen, Jen knows people better. Hey, Jen, can you open the door? Jen, can you talk to us? Hey, Jen. What? Who is who plays the elf lady in Lord of the Rings? Liv Tyler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not not the. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Agent Smith's daughter in the movie, but in real life, um, how can I not remember the fucking lead singer of Aerosmith, his name? I can picture his face right now. Steven Tyler? Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Liv Tyler. Yeah, Liv Tyler plays the main... Guys, I am so sorry you have to listen to our meandering bullshit. We're just so... I bet a lot of you are just grabbing yourself by the hair and you're by like, you leader. fucking idiots, how do you not know this? Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, uh, Liz Tyler. Okay, cool. Thanks, Jen. Wait, how many do I need? I need like ten, though. Welcome back. The page is still available if you want it. Blah, blah, blah. What do you say? Yes. Right. Oh, and I'm not joking about the Sigur thing. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I Real think talk. it's a, uh, like, Northern European tale. Huh. Uh, and that's the original tale of, like, the sword and the stone, but it's not a sword and a stone, it's a sword and a trunk, tree trunk. Hmm. 
And uh, Odin like puts the sword there, and I'm pretty Odin. sure it's Sigir. Yeah. Huh. Odin, the All Father. Odin, like the the god. Yeah, the god. Yeah. Yeah. And he pulls it out of the um, trunk, and he puts it right in his butt. And then they made Lord of the Rings. The one ring to rule them all refers to his butthole, because it can hold a sword. 